back to another short and sweet where their views are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. It's really sweet that our Patreon community contributed in the purchase of this bottle of Booker's 2024 Oh, too. We are eternally grateful. Yes. This is the Beam Batch. Mm-hmm. So, yes. specs on this. I'm sorry, the Beam House Batch. The Beam House Batch. Oh, this is their house This is batch. their house batch. <laughs> it's like house wine. I suppose. The house, house. House elf. I mean, I guess. At Harry some Potter. point, when will they run out of things to name these? But that's someone's job. They're paid to do 2028. that. 2028. Uh, who knows? I don't know. Uh, this one's seven years, two months, and 22 days. Been so having good luck with that over seven. Over seven years, yeah. 124.6 proof, so okay. right there in the middle. Second release of the year. Uh, and I guess we'll see. <laughs> yeah, let's find out. Uh, purchased this for $109. Uh, Wish it was lower, uh, yeah, but we get all, all four of them each year to let you all know what, in our opinion, is the best batch of the year. We do it for you. Yes, and we get to drink it. <laughs> and it's not so bad. It's nutty. You know what, though? I think this is a little more berry and fruit forward than a typical beam product. Bite, bite your beam tongue. It is. No, I agree with that. It's a little fruity. Maybe maybe it's <laughs> yeah. not berry. Maybe it's more like peaches. Yeah, like it does a, have more of a brightness to it than, than maybe normal. Yeah, it's bright, it's floral, it's fruity, which is so off for me in terms of what I think, but actually I kind of well, like that. I want to be surprised every now yeah, and then. Yeah, but it still has that, uh, this one, more of a peanut butter kind of undertone. Faint though, not, not super mm, intense. I'm, I'm picking it up. My, my nutty meter's going off maybe a little okay. bit more than yours, but it's good I mean, nose. A gentle oak in there too. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah, see your health. Ah, not anymore so on the palate. Yeah. yeah there's that peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. And the oak. Mm. Still some of that like sweet, syrupy, fruity, almost like jammy notes. Yes. Uh, strawberry jam. Oh, it's almost like a strawberry jam and peanut butter sandwich, like a peanut butter oh, and jelly. peanut butter and jelly? It's very peanut, peanut butter, butter and, and jelly, jam? but peanut, yeah, peanut butter and strawberry jam, maybe? Mm. You know, they, I think that's an Uncrustables flavor. I'm Uncrustables, not, sure. I'm not a I'm Uncrustables uh, connoisseur, so I can't quite say. Sarah, I'm familiar. Are you familiar? No. You, you dabble in the <laughs> I've Uncrustables? Been known, I've been known to dabble. Uh, th this one came on differently. So in the very beginning, the very front of the palette, I was like, wow, this 124.6 is really nice and easy, but then that heat definitely started to build um, sort of, I mean, not an attack on the tongue, but it, it, you know, you did feel it there in the mid part of the palate. But now that we're starting to go into the finish, mm -hmm. it's tamed down and this mm -hmm. will this will all be different on that second sip, but it's tamed down and it's going into a nice Kentucky hug. So it was- A gentle sp definitely spreading a of the hug. Bell curve? A bell curve, that yes, that's good? correct. Mm -hmm. Very look, good. Well, look at me. Look at you. Not box and whisker. No. <laughs> <laughs> different charts. I love different yeah, charts. Different charts. Charts, facts, and figures. Um, Venn diagrams, line graphs, bar graphs. Don't get me started. I won't. She loves pretty, a graph. <laughs> she, yeah. Pretty, pretty decently long finish. Mm, yeah. I have to say. Um, I want to go back about in. About ready for my second sip. I'm always ready for my second sip. But first. before we do, I want to hit pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the t-shirt and dress. I'm just kidding. The t-shirt. <gasps> you wish. <laughs> <laughs> the t-shirt and hat that I'm wearing. The Glen Cairns that we're both drinking from our water glasses. In fact, all of our glassware, including our mini glens, our elemental elixir, cocktail syrup, bottle cut candles, more. That's always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And that one buck helps us get bottles like these. Uh, in return, you get after the episode exclusive content, access to our barrel picks and more. Yeah. All right, what we're gonna do, you know, it's out here a little bit before we start the episode, but I want it all right, all right. Just a little I'll bit wait. more for our second sip. Be right back. And we're back. It's been a little time. Let's revisit here with that second sip. Okay, the, the nuttiness now that it's been sitting, yes, more so on the nose. You were correct the first yeah. time around. I, I, but I still get that berry it. floral, peanut butter jelly sandwich. Yeah. Specifically strawberry jelly. Yeah. But it could be great. And I do still yeah. think that proof, almost 125. It's really nice and easy. It's very approachable it's, for 125. It's very sippable. Foolproof. Very right? drinkable, yeah. Mm -hmm. For And I will say, something we have not talked about yet is the mouthfeel. It's not, I wouldn't go so far as to call it exceptional or anything, but it's it's well, fairly coating. It's fairly coating. It's really, like when you think about jelly and like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain this. Not that jelly's oily, but it has a texture. It you know? does. Like, and like when I think about peanut butter, and just chewing peanut butter without water, it's dry, right? But sure. this is more of a jelly jam texture. Where yeah. It's, there's a lot of moisture content there. I, I, I don't follow. know. Yeah, it yeah. It feels like that. You're definitely not gonna be going for your water after every single sip. No. Uh, it's not dry. 
in the least. It does have some, you know, oak elements in there that depending on your enjoyment level of oak, you might be going for your water because of that. Or if you're not used to this type of proof, <laughs> you'll probably be reaching for that water. But otherwise, yeah, I think it's a really easy sipper. There's a tiny bit of heat, not heat, but like heat like from the alcohol evaporation towards the finish, but really overall, very drinkable. I'm very drinkable. I'm mm -hmm. pleasantly surprised with this. I will have to compare it to the 01, which we will do. But in terms of recent memory, this is up there in mm -hmm. terms of like bookers that I like. And especially when it comes to that 109 price point, which we've been previously spoiled by lower <laughs> price points from bookers. Yeah, I get it. It finally hit us. We don't want to see it, but that's just the way the world is. Mm -hmm. If that's going to be the truth, then I need what's in the bottle to be more like this. Correct. And I do feel like it's been a pretty strong start for 2024. The I bookers, think so too. Typically in our, you know, anecdotal way, we've always said, you know, release three and four for us historically have been stronger. We have found those to perform better. better not yeah. that it has anything to do with anything. And I hope that continues because that will only mean that they get better. That they will be better than 01 and 02. But I think so far the start of this year is the best start to the year that I've seen from bookers in the past few. I agree. And if you are a statistician or, 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 or whatever. Uh, Mathematician. Statistician. No. Statistician. <laughs> no. Okay, go. If you like numbers, you might be correlating it to. <gasps> Good word. $10 word. Well, Very nice, I Chad. I got a few under this hat. Uh, <laughs> the seven years, when they go seven years and, and over, which is months, they're not hitting eight, right? Um, they're better. And that's your, that, that is such a shouldn't make sense. That's your hypothesis. If they are seven years and they have older, a, well, then historically in, in the 2020s, but this is your hypothesis. True. If they yeah. are over seven well, years, in then my, they for my are palette. right. Yeah, correct. This is your yeah. palette hypothesis. Yeah. Which on paper, uh, you know, and, and I, I almost kind of hate that because then it, it just reinforces that Age. stereotype that, oh, I won't buy anything unless it's seven years or older type, type of thing. But it could but, just be for this particular, like where these are stored, what this particular expression mm -hmm. might benefit from just a little bit longer. Let's be real, there's not gonna be that much difference between, in, in theory, mm -hmm. six years and eight months and seven years and two months. However, everybody says, you know, there is a sweet spot. Sure. And and, the, and that barrels can ebb and flow. Absolutely. And that they'll hit a peak and then they fall and then yeah. they hit a peak. So maybe that peak is somewhere around the seven year mark. Could be. Could Perhaps. be. Perhaps, could be. Could be. I don't know. More, yeah. more, more evidence, more needed. research needed. <laughs> um, but that yeah. is how we feel about this one. That um, is. And that's where we better leave it. it. Yeah. Okay. If you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. And we hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, Patreon. Until next time, drink more bourbon.